All right, guys, so we just got a JP update. Uh, I was at work, I was looking at my phone, and I was just like, oh, look at that. Uh, new Twitter post, from, I think it was uh, DBZ info, uh, Dokkan info, and I was like, oh, look, new JP update. And then I got some uh, other notifications with uh, all this other information. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and download it. And I saw over 4,000, like 4,700, um, something like that. Let's go over onto my page. 4,708 assets on JP. So, uh, pretty damn crazy. Um, I'm just looking at it like, holy crap, dude. So, I got excited. So, I jumped on. I uh, started doing the download. Uh, it crapped out about, like, a thousand uh, assets into it. And then it logged into the game. I was like, oh, okay. And then we went down for maintenance. And then I saw this. Not that, actually. <laughs> uh, where are you? This. <laughs> then I saw this posted up on Twitter. And everyone sharing it and going crazy. And this card's freaking awesome. Now, I'm going to touch upon other cards in the game that were just released as well. Uh, as you saw, the BoJack information was released, um, and there's a Gokua card that was also released. I'm not going to go too in-depth on that, because I already talked about the BoJack. Plus, I don't have the official translations for the BoJack. I know I already went over it a little bit. Um, I did talk about it in my video today when I went up against the Bardock event. So I'll go ahead and I'll talk about it again, doesn't matter. But this card, this card right here, is what everyone is going crazy for. First off... This is an LR Goku, Spirit Bomb Goku. Second off, his leader ability, busted. He is the Gogeta of leaders. So he is all attributes, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100% up. Literally, literally broken. Now, okay, maybe I shouldn't say broken. Category leads are really broken also. The 100% up, I guess, now can come into play just because we have all these category leads out. We have the 120 leads out. 100% up on all types isn't that amazing. Personally, I think they should have done a 90% up. I think 90% would have been a little bit more realistic uh, in terms of the meta, just because, think about it. Gogeta came, and they, he destroyed, like, the original Gogeta, the strength Gogeta came, and he destroyed the entire meta for key plus three, uh, attack plus 3,000, right? He destroyed all of them. There's no reason to have any of them when you had a Gogeta. They got smart. In the second round, it was uh, HP, attack, and defense plus 70% up, but it was mono leads until the heroes came, the hero and the villains came. They split it up between heroes and villains, but it was only 50%, it's 20% less. So I guess I can kind of see, because it's a 20% debuff to what they typically have, but all attributes, eh, I mean, whatever, I'm not going to complain. You know, I'm just saying that in terms of viability, you're taking away viability from 70% leaders, you're adding viability to the 50% leaders, I mean, to the 100% lead, uh, you're also taking away from the 100% leaders now at that point. Because what's the point of you running a hero lead or a villain lead if you have this Goku? That being said, we don't know how you're going to obtain this Goku. He is cost 99, so we don't know if he will. We, so our assumption, the assumption is he is freely obtainable or easily obtainable. Um, there are a couple theories that I'm going to go over with this card. So let's go ahead and talk about them. First off, shout out to the Reddit because Reddit has all the cool information. Um, for his leader ability, obviously, as I said, 100% for all types. His passive skills also pretty busted. Uh, not really busted in itself, actually. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to be doing Mega Colossal damage, but it's attack plus 77% up um, on his passive then. Attack plus 7% and defense plus 7% uh, per key orb obtained. And yeah, HP is 7,777 recovery per key orb obtained as well. So it doesn't, it's okay, it's kind of busted, kind of isn't. Mega Colossal Damage, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. He is an LR Goku. I'm assuming, we're assuming, we don't have any of his base card information, um, but we're going to talk about that in a second as well. But that means if he's a Goku card, and he's going to be Doken from a Goku card assumption, in, that means he's going to be uh, freely farmable to Super Attack 10, which is cool. And Attack plus 7% per key or routine isn't amazing. But for Mega Colossal Damage, I mean, look at Gohan, he's 18%, and he's hitting for like 4 million damage on a 90 a double Gohan 90% lead. If you watch my video, I got, I got like 3.8 million without a crit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 7% is actually a lot of damage, plus the inherent 77%. That's that's a pretty decent amount. Um, but anyway, and plus he does HP recovery, which is also freaking uh, pretty cool. He doesn't have the, the greatest link skills. Uh, he, I do have it over here. Thankfully, shout out to the D Dokkan Battle Wiki also. Make sure to check them out as well. Um, you can go ahead and create an account. I am not logged in, though. I forgot to log in before I started doing all the different uh, tabs. But um, yeah, he does all types. Key plus 3, HP attack, and defense plus 100. Super attack is Spirit Bomb, 12 to 17 key. And Super Spirit Bomb is 18 plus key. Colossal damage to enemies. All allies attack plus 20% for one turn. 
Mega Colossal damage, and all allies attack and defense plus 25% for one turn. So the super tag isn't really worth, I mean, it is for the damage he will be doing, but in terms of the bonus that you're getting, I don't think it's great. I feel like if they jumped that 25% up to like 30% or 35%, it would make the Mega Colossal a little bit more viable in terms of you wanting to actually get it for your allies. But then again, it's really, he's the one who's going to be doing all the work. Uh, pass the skill is Ultimate Inspiration, attack plus 77%, like I said before. Uh, attack and defense plus 7% and HP 7777. Per key orb obtained, not great, or not horrible. Gonna do a lot of damage, we'll have to really wait and see. Uh, plus, we're gonna have to see if he actually has a category. Uh, I don't know if we actually if he actually has a category. His link skills, though, are a little bit subpar, but there's I think there's a real good reason for that. He has Z Fighters, all in the family, experienced fighters, prepared for battle, supreme power, Saiyan lineage, and legendary power. Now, the reasoning why I think this is okay. Um, first off, just in terms of the card art, um, Vegeta's not there. Vegeta was actually on the battlefield when he was fighting Kid Buu. This is a Kid Buu card. Um, I really feel like they should have had Vegeta somewhere in the background. That would have been a little bit nicer. Maybe they'll update it. Who knows? Um, but that's pretty cool. I like this card art. It's really awesome. He's gathering energy. I mean, they even have, you know, they have Dragon Ball Saga uh, characters in there with Aider and uh, Wupo or whatever the heck the guy's, the, the little Indian kid's name is in, is in there. You know, obviously Gohan, Trunks, Krillin, Android 17. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Obviously, they couldn't fit everyone in there. Uh, but that's a pretty nice nice freaking card. I like that. Um, anyway, in terms of the link skills, so Z Fighters, all in the family, experienced fighters. Now, Z Fighters, all the Z Fighters donated their energy to Goku. I can understand them having that. All in the family, because it's the Sun family, they do have Goten and Trunk. I mean, not Goten and Trunk. Gohan and Goten, and they donated their energy, so it kind of makes sense for them to be there and for them to have this link skill. Experienced Fighters is typically a Piccolo link. Um, actually, I think that I, no, I took it down. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look for Experienced Fighters. Uh, Experienced Fighters is a link skill that's typically for Vegeta, and, I mean Vegeta, uh, Goku, and Piccolo. As you see, the two LRs will have that now. Uh, Pycon, Krillin, uh, Gogeta, and that's really it, you know, it's like people who are experienced in fighting, even Tien has it. People who are actually martial artists, who are known as martial artists in the actual series, including it. So I can understand why he has experienced fighters, that's cool, he links with them. Prepared for battle is a Saiyan thing, Supreme Power, because it's a Kid Buu um, link. Uh, the Saiyan Lineage is the same thing as Prepared for Battle, and Legendary Power, he's an LR. All these link skills make sense for this card, in my opinion. I think it's, you know, I think it makes sense. Uh, anyway, his max stats, it looks like, um, I'm assuming this is with Orb System. Maybe it's not, oh no, this is, this is not Orb System. Base stats are, um, or max stats are 13,872 HP, 12,548 attack, and defense of 7,429 we still don't know how to obtain him, and we're going to go ahead and talk about that, all the theories right now. Super Attack Spirit Bomb, 12 key multiplier, 140%. Uh, 24 key multiplier, 200% maximum. Super Attack level is level 20, as always, for an LR. Uh, now let's go talk about the crazy fan theories that are going on out there. Th fan theory number one is he's going to be part of the 1,000-day login bonus. You're going to get him at the login. Um, so when you go and log in, either cumulative or consecutive logins, I'm assuming it would be cumulative. Uh, just because they couldn't do consecutive, no one would ever get him except for people who've been playing the game non-stop every day since the beginning. But if it is a free LR, I can see them doing that as well, because if you've logged in like me every day since you start, since you downloaded the game, you kind of deserve to get an LR for free. But I don't think that's going to be the, the, the thing. Second one is going to be, he is going to be a straight summonable LR, and that summonable LR will come from an Omega, or not Omega, an actual Shenron animation. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think they're going to make uh, a summonable, straight summonable LR um, in game like that. I think they're only going to, you know, he's going to Doken Awaken from someone. Uh, the other, that brings me actually to the other theory. The other theory that everyone has mentioned is he Doken Awakens from Great Brilliance Goku. So you have the SSR Great Brilliance Goku, who is an SSR with the attack plus 15% per strength key or obtained recovers. Uh, HP with candy and he does a dual leader he then Doken awakens and is still a dual leader and he's type key plus three HP attack and defense plus 30% he gives all allies attack buffs you see where I'm going here attack plus 20% per key orb obtained and he's Z fighter all in the family Saiyan warrior race well not really he would lose that prepared for battle uh, supreme power he would lose fierce battle but if he Doken awakens he's going to Doken awaken to this which makes so much sense now, I'm not saying that this is going to be, but if they're going the route with, like, Vegito Blue, how they had talked about going to be Doken Awakening a uh, card uh, from an SSR to a, U, a TUR to an LR, then I can definitely see him doing this. This is him being one of those cards that get that Doken Awakening. Plus, he's a cost 99, so that means he's not going to be, um, 
he'll be a higher summonable SSR, higher availability SSR, and a lot of us probably have him. Like, I just pulled him recently myself, so I can't say that everyone could have him, because I, I play this game pretty hardcore, if you guys have been following me for the past six months. I actually play this game a lot, and I do a lot of summoning. Um, so, I just got that card, and I've been going hard for a while. So, I can understand if you don't have him, but he is a, uh, not, he's a, not a more desired card, but because, it, well, at least this is the base form. But, I mean, when he does Doken Waking, he's not horrible. But 20% on Supreme Damage and 135% uh, Multiplier is nothing really that too amazing. But that 20% per key orb obtained, or strength key orb obtained. But anyway, guys, that's me rambling on enough. Let me know what you think, uh, how, what do you think is going to be the way to get him? Let me know in the comments below what you think, how he will be obtainable. Do you think he's going to be Doken, like I think, from that SSR? Do you think he's going to be part of the Thousand Day login bonus? You know what, maybe he could be part of the Thousand Day celebration event that we're going to be doing. I guarantee you Bandai's going to do a Thousand Day celebration event, just because it's an even number, and that's another reason to celebrate. So that's going to be coming up. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Now, because I'm already at like 11 minutes here, let's go ahead and go quickly. This is the SSR Bojack. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but this is his uh, actual SSR variant. He token awakens into full power Bojack, so it looks like his SSR is going to be a base form Bojack, which means he's farmable um, from the Bojack. I think it was the Bojack. No, he's not farmable from the Bojack event. He's only farmable from the semi-farmable card that drops from summons it's the sr bojack so start saving them up now guys on global make sure you save them up so that way you can get that card it makes it a lot more worth it when he's more uh, when you don't have to worry about other guys so that's cool and then he goes into full power bojack also the other thing about this full power bojack you can tur your bojack your bojacks and feed them into him for 100 percent chance if you want to i'm not recommending it but you can do that and then obviously lr team bojack which i think this is pretty damn cool I like how all of them are here, like, just with wh where they're located. It's just so freaking badass. It's dark, it's eerie. It makes me want to go out and fight the wolf. Anyway, um, the next one is going to be this Gokua. Now, I'm just going to talk about him very briefly. Gokua is going to be a new card. He's an SR. He Doken Awakens into an SSR. That may leave room for the old Gokua to Doken Awaken as well. I forgot. I think that, that Gokua is actually a rare, though. But if he does Doken Awaken into an SR, I, who knows? Uh, but anyway... And that's pretty cool. He is, uh, I guess he's strength type, key plus two, attack plus 50%. Um, Devilish Blade Extraordinary, which I'm assuming is going to be extreme damage to your opponent and decreased defense. Lowers defense. Changing battle. So he is an orb changer. Changes strength, um, I'm sorry, spinning balls to power balls. So I'm assuming it's agility to power. I actually have the translations over here. So let me just be make this a little bit easier on us and <laughs> grab them. So agility to strength orbs, attack and defense plus 30%. So that's pretty, actually that's pretty cool if he's giving um, uh, attack plus 20% up. So he's giving himself a just attack up. I don't know why the heck this translation is attack and defense plus 30%. Oh, that's his Doken form, that's why. Um, he has Infighter, Shocking Speed, Loyalty, the Heraclan, uh, Galactic Warriors, and Nightmare. Uh, super, super Attack when he Doken Wakens becomes uh, uh, Supreme Damage. Wow, I can't speak right now, what the hell. Um, I don't know what, what to gain, I guess, when he Doken Awakens then. Uh, shocking Speed, Loyalty, Infighter. Oh, so he... God. Let's see. Okay. Nightmare. So I guess he got Nightmare when he Doken Awake. And that's that. That's pretty. Uh, well, we're not going to show him. Stop with that. Um, so he becomes pretty damn cool. Like, it's a cool looking card. He looks kind of jacked like Bojack. <laughs> uh, strength that keeps plus 3. Attack plus 80%. Well, so that's freaking awesome. So we're going to go back over here for that. Uh, agility to strength. Attack and defense plus 30%. And he gains Nightmare, which is awesome. So he has some decent links, he's going to be a good Bojack link. Actually, he's probably going to be good for a Bojack-oriented team. He can be on rotation because LR book. Oh, I'm sorry, i am just got the hiccups right now. Um, so he's going to be decent on a Bojack team. I guess it would be up to you whether you want to run a Bojack next to Bojack or have Gokua next to Bojack. The Gokua is going to give him the Heraclan and Galactic Warriors, which is going to be freaking sick just because you're going to want them together for those links. Plus, he is a key orb manipulator. Um, doesn't have Nightmare, it looks like, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but, I mean, whatever. He's a cool card to have. Uh, I like it. I would get him up to Super Attack 10 before I Doken Awaken him to an SSR if I was to get him on the global side when I do get him, because if, he, if he's an SR, he's going to be easily obtainable. At that point, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to actually do that. But anyway, guys, that's my 15-minute spiel, my 15-minute ramble on this new card that's currently out. I'm super excited. Like I said before, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. 
Uh, let me know how you think he's going to be obtainable. Uh, also, before I go, one more thing. Um, I just want to show Max Max Dupe System. So with Max Dupe System, uh, HP is 18,872, attack is 17,948, and defense is 12,029. Now just think about that, 17,000, well, so let's just round it up, 18,000 attack, plus 77%, plus 7% per key orb obtained. On average, that is about, what, 6 to 7, so let's just say 7, so that's another 49% up, plus 77, that's 100 and something percent up. Holy crap. This guy's going to be insane. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate it. I'm kind of hyped for that car. I really hope it comes to the global um, soon. And I hope you get to hear about that LR Vegito Blue, because everyone's wondering where the hell he is since the BoJack came out. Anyway, guys, thank you. Catch you later. I'll see you tomorrow.